St. Peter's friends, week four of climbing up my mountain with me. You know, I was thinking, I feel really lucky that my body works really well and I can climb up these rocks and get to my favorite place up there. But I know some people whose bodies don't work well and there's no way they could do this climb. I have a friend and um, it's not because she's old, she's younger than me, but her body doesn't actually work really well. So even in her own house, she can't climb her stairs. So she has one of those seats where she gets on at the bottom of the stairs and she rides up to the top. That's how she solved um, that problem about being able to climb. But I'm glad that you can climb and um, maybe you can pretend with me today to be climbing up the mountain while I go. You guys have just been talking about a time when you were crying. I remember a time when I cried. I felt so sad. And I'll tell you why when we get to the top, okay? I'll see you up there. Oh, it's good to have a healthy body to be able to climb. Oh, but we're thinking about sad things and times when we cried. Yeah, that, that was a big one for me. I'll tell you about it. Hi, everybody. We're back. We're uh, back after that walk up the hill. Whew. Sometimes I wish I had like a little elevator like my friend uses to get up her stairs. That might feel good. Hey, with, uh, we were talking before about uh, things that make you sad, but that was a two-part question. Also, what makes you laugh, right? Okay, I have a lot of things that make me laugh. I like laughing a lot. I laugh at some of the crazy things my grandkids do. I laugh and I cheer when my football team gets a touchdown. <laughs> I love football. It makes me laugh. Um, yeah, I don't cry when the team's losing. I mean, I feel disappointed, but it's not a big cry or anything. But I do remember a time when I felt super, super sad and I cried a lot. You know what happened? Um, it, it was a really big thing for me because my mom died and that I just felt sad. I had a lot of happy memories about her. She was really old and it was the end of her life, but still, you know what? I was grieving. I was mourning. I felt sad. So yeah, mourning, not like morning and evening, but morning, feeling sad and grieving. Uh, so yeah, that was one of the times that I cried. But you know what? I actually, I cried quite often to tell you the truth. Um, I think I cried last week. Uh, I had something disappointing happen and it made me cry. People talk about different kinds of crying. You know, there's a ugly cry when you're really 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 crying there's a happy cry that sounds strange but it's true and sometimes you cry when it just hurts when was, when do you cry like maybe when you fall down and you hurt yourself you, you cry right and then maybe one of your grown-ups comes and says oh it's okay it's okay let's see oh i think you're going to be all right maybe they rub the sore spot and they give you a hug and they comfort you. Um, some people think it's never okay to cry and they say, don't cry. I don't believe that. But when your parents say to you, okay, okay, stop crying, stop crying. I've heard some parents say to a kid who's crying like, okay, stop, breathe. And that will help you to stop crying. But it's okay to cry. Everybody cries, even people that pretend they don't. Everybody cries sometimes. And crying is not a sign of weakness. It doesn't mean there's something bad about you. It means you're feeling hurt or disappointed. Sometimes I cry when I'm angry. There's a lot of different kinds of crying. And Jesus had one of those beatitudes about crying and mourning. He actually told the people after they got up on top of the mountain with him, he said, okay, blessed are those who mourn. Okay, that sounds upside down, right? Blessed are those who mourn. Why? Because 
they will be comforted. They will be comforted. Yeah, you know what? Um, back to my really big sad time when my mom died, I felt super sad. I cried a lot. But I was comforted in a bunch of different ways. There were a lot of people who told me how important my mom was to them. They reminded me about how kind she was, how funny, how much she loved to bake and feed people. And I have a lot of happy memories. So that comforted me um, to know that, okay, my mom's gone. It's sad, but there's comfort as well. I think um, if I never actually knew what it was like to really, really love somebody and then really miss them when they were gone, I wouldn't really understand what comforted means either. So for you, maybe you cry because you fall down or you get hurt and then a parent or a grown up comes along and says, okay, okay, it's going to be okay. I'm going to help you. That's a way of them comforting you. And uh, it's good to have other people around who can comfort you. God can comfort you too. You know, he comes along and God will say to you, just like, actually, sometimes I think about God like my mom. And God comes along and wraps me up and says, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. My mom was really good at doing that. And that's why she reminds me of God. And God is good at comforting us too. So God uses other people to comfort us. My mom was good at comforting me. I hope your grown-ups are good at comforting you. But you know what? Kids can be good at comforting people too. Some of my best comforts, comforting times come from kids. I love a kid's smile. I love a kid's laugh. I love to hold a baby. And I find that very comforting. So you can actually be a comforter to other people. And uh, yeah, so Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn or feel super sad because they will be comforted. So that's a good promise, right? If you have felt very sad, well, you know, then you know maybe what it feels like to feel different than that, to feel really happy or to feel comforted like it's going to be okay even in the middle of something that is not turning out the way you wish it would yeah so blessed are those who mourn they will be comforted how do you like to be comforted do you like somebody to come and rub your back or you know just talk to you and say it's going to be okay there's lots of different ways to comfort people and you can be a comforter in your special way too I'd like to give you a blessing before we go back to our discussion time today. So if you're going to get a blessing, you know what to do, right? Hold out your hands so you can receive this like a gift. Ready? Blessed are you when you feel sad. Blessed are you when you feel happy. Blessed are you no matter what your feelings. God understands all your feelings. Bless you. I'll see you soon.